materials um, when you're laying a wall out. Um, first one I want to go over, it's pretty simple. Um, it's, it's cutting a measurement in half, or basically most of the time cutting a fraction in half. Does anybody know how to go about that? Cutting a fraction in half. Say we had 3 sixteenths. What is half of that? Does anybody know? Okay. Um, real, let's start with a simple one. Let's say one half. What is half of one half? Are you getting me or the board? Okay, so you have to move the cameras. I'm left-handed. I got to stay on this side. I'm sorry, what? One quarter. One quarter. That one's pretty simple. You kind of know that one right off hand. So now thinking about how did you get there? Um, basically, all you're doing is multiplying this by one half. Okay, so three. 30 seconds is half of that, okay? Um, same thing here, if you multiplied this by one half, it made it one times one is one, two times two is four, that's all it is. But there's something, a real easy trick too, to doing these where you don't even have to multiply that. All it is, and it doesn't matter what the fraction is, if it's five eighths, Top number stays the same, bottom number doubles, always. I mean, it's the same thing as multiplying by half. Okay. Has everybody got that? Pretty simple. Okay. So, so it would be like the five, five eighths would be five sixteenths. Yes, is half of that. Yeah. Um, and, and we use that a lot, um, especially cutting measurements in half. When you're laying a wall out, when you look at a print, doors and windows, they don't give you those edge marks where they have to go. So you're trying to lay plates out where them go. Um, they give you to the center of that window. They give you the size of the window and then they give you to the center. So basically when you lay them out, you find that center point, if this is your plate, you find that center point and you mark it and you measure out halfway to find the edges of the window or door. Um, so you need to be able to cut numbers in half to be able to do that, sometimes in thirds, but um, basically most of the time just in half. So, um, so that's something pretty important. Anybody have any questions on that at all? Everybody's got it, that's good. Okay, so next thing we're gonna talk about is square foot. Now we work with cubic feet, and I like to start with square foot, but just in the order that we need to um, go with this program, we did concrete first, so we need to do cubic feet. Does anybody know the formula for square foot? Remember when you're dealing with cubic, you're, doing, you're dealing in like 3D. Um, square foot, you're just dealing with a flat surface, okay? Um, Q, or, uh, square foot is used for figuring all kinds of materials. Pretty much everything you build is figured in square footage. If you were figuring tile for the ceiling or tile for the floor or drywall for the walls, it's all done in square foot. Um, when you're figuring shingles for a roof, it's done in square foot. Um, sheeting for a roof or walls, it's done in square foot. So this one we used over and over and over again. So basically it is length times width equals, and most of the time we're dealing in foot, so we'll call the formula length times width equals square foot. Okay, square feet, okay. It's the same thing when we work a problem in here. This, writing this on every problem is points. You have to write it every single time, just like we did the, um, when we were figuring cubic yards, okay? So if I had a, a building here, or an area, say it was a floor and we were figuring for tile, um, say this is 10 foot and this is 24 foot. So first step is writing this, next step is what? 
like I said, I don't care if you guys use a calculator, but I want to see your work. So you're going to write down the length is 24 times 10 equals, and then whatever it is. Then you can just do it on the calculator, write your answer. What is it? 240, right? 240 what? Square feet. Okay. So, on the problems, when I have you do them, this is five points. Okay? This is five points. This here is five points. And this is five points. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay, so that's pretty easy. Um, Anybody have any questions on square foot? So we have to have length times width equal square foot. If you don't have them, are zero points? You get zero out of this five. So each problem's worth five, 10, 15, 20. 20 points. You would get 15 if you didn't write this. If all I get is this answer, 240, you get five points. Okay? Um, everybody's clear on that. Nobody has any questions with square footage. Nope. Did you go ahead and stop that? That's okay.